Next question is, do you have any recommendations on how to perform healing when there's other people involved? Great, great, great question. And this question is under the assumption that a client comes to us and as they're talking about their healing journey and what they want to heal, uh, there are a few people involved that are maybe stopping them uh, from healing or making it very difficult for the client to heal. It's not just a few events they want to work on. It's maybe the relationship with this person in their life. So this is a great question because as we know, we don't really have control over whoever that person is, right? We don't even have full control with our clients. So what can we do in this situation? And what I really want to emphasize here is that when we get clients like this, the best thing that we can do for our clients is to help them with whatever it is that they are feeling internally or thinking internally with regards to that person. So for example, it's a boss that's uh, a pain in the ass, right? And so they maybe are in this job and then they just need maybe three months to find another job or the job is really good. They would like to stay, but the boss is just a pain in the ass and helping them to make that decision is one of the things that we um, they came to us with, for example. And so one of the best things that we can do for our clients is to help them explore what is happening to them internally whenever they uh, interact with this set person with a boss what happens when you uh, when you interact with a boss how are you feeling um, what are you thinking what are the interactions like uh, and really get into the client's personal experience and what and how they want their relationship to be like moving forward because by having our clients focus their attention on their inner experience with regards to this person, then they can change the relationship and how they perceive the, the other person so that it won't bother them as much. Because wouldn't it be such an amazing result for a client that say they want to stay in that job, but they, the boss is just a pain in the ass. And so if you can help a client to not only stay in that job, but you know, find that confidence within themselves to speak up to the boss and ask for a promotion, that is an amazing result, right? Or either or just be indifferent towards the, the boss. That is what we can help with uh, using hypnotherapy and even some coaching. So that would be the focus uh, of my sessions, helping the client to change their perception and neutralize any emotions they might have with that other person, because we can't change other people, right? Um, we can only help our clients to really see their situation differently, which is what we do anyway in, in any regular session. So um, I hope this helped. And also uh, another thing to add, sometimes we can hear other people or if we follow any gurus and, and they say something along the lines of, you know, the most important part of healing is healing the inner child or our clients must forgive themselves or must forgive the people that they hurt. So in your sessions, make sure you do that. That's actually bullshit because we don't really know that for sure. We don't really know what's best for our clients in their particular situation. Why? Because we don't live their lives, right? And so when we're in that session, for example, I'll give this, um, I'll use the same example of the, the pain in the ass boss. If we tell that particular client to forgive the boss, how do we know that that's not going to make it worse, right? It, it's not going to... Um, or if it actually will help to forgive. What if just being indifferent to them for a little bit with regards to their boss, maybe they need to be indifferent for three months. And then at the end of the three months, they realize, hey, I guess I'm indifferent. I will probably be there to uh, be ready to forgive this, this client. It's you know, it when we assume and when we force people to do something that they might not be ready for at that particular t moment in time, then it can create resistance and not really the healing effect that we want. And so inside our advanced conversational hypnosis trainings, this is the concept that we use time and time again. This is the principle that we use, which is meet a client where they're at. So when we meet a client where they're at, 
maybe maybe it is forgiveness maybe through our conversation they say you know we've helped them have that healing breakthrough and then they go hmm i think i just need to forgive my boss if that happens and it comes out from their mouth then yes we can definitely do that but if in their sessions they say something along the lines of mm, i i think i'll just i just won't worry or you know every time i get pissed at my boss i'll just make sure that i go for a walk during my break something like that right make sure that it is very client centered instead of us trying to to heal the client because it's it's not really up to us to heal. We help them get to a place so that they can start their healing. And at the end of the day, it's the clients who heal themselves, which is again, another conversational hypnosis um, methodology principle. And so I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, and concerns at all. And I will see you soon.